so here we have a failing test. And I'm going to do one more customization to this test before we go further. Because in component tests, this is very much a side note. I don't feel the need to wait around for four seconds, like the default failure time. Let's run this again and yeah. we'll see it fail much faster. Because there's not often a network layer. So I just I tend to move my default command time out to be really short. I just want the feedback right away. Um, and then our customization is going to be based on the existence of this like failure, right? The, mm -hmm. the after hook is going to wait until the final test is completed. Mm -hmm. um, and I got to thinking we could use speech synthesis to have some logic here. This is just a browser API. We don't have to like do so, anything special. So this is actually in browser, this speech synthesis API, yeah, right? Like let's let's look this up on MDN, right? This is this is a part of the kind of web platform has browser support mm -hmm. to get apps to be able to 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 read out text aloud and have some control over like the the kinds of things that, that it's announcing. And so the the goal here is to make a new message for it to say, and then we're going to say something different based on whether it passed or failed, based mm -hmm. on the DOM here. So I actually borderline think this might be useful if you have a long running test and you like to do other work and you just want to know the results. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I used to do this in the command line when I would run like headless jest test or something, I would do you know whatever, whatever test and I would end it with and, and say done. And so when when my wait, when wait, my wait, thing, say done is again like this is this is you can just do this in the in the terminal. Really? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. It's so cool. <laughs> and so if you have okay. a long running process that you don't know when it's going to finish, um putting like chaining on the command to say that it's done mm -hmm. uh, will just jog your memory to go, "Oh, that's finished now. I can stop looking <laughs> at hacker news or whatever." <laughs> and get back to like the the uh, the behavior, the, the thing that you were doing. Um, so I had gotten used to that and I kind of liked that. And, and what we're going to do is the equivalent. And I'm going to change my audio settings in a way that might be weird to, to make this come through. So um, apologies if there's echoes or anything now. But let's save it. First, let's do the say thing, right? Done. Could you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah. that. Hey, okay, I great. I heard myself as well. App failed. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> okay. That's so cool. Um, so that's going to happen, right? We can rerun this and switch away and we'll wreck over here. App failed. Womp womp. Okay, cool. And then um, we can like fix the test. Let's keep that command. Yeah. So I'm fixing the test. Cypress is rerunning. App passed. Nice. Cool. I didn't have to look at it. <laughs> um, so like this is this is something that is just available in the browser and fun to play with. But also when I remember this, because this was just a throwaway thing that I put on Twitter, I was like, hey, look, you can make Cypress talk. And when I remember this, I'm like, oh, I should actually like publish a plugin or something because it's not it's not zero use. It's it's a little bit useful. Yeah. 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 